Welcome back to Earth and Ivy. I'm going to do a short stream today, just have a half an hour, but really wanted to finish off a few things I couldn't get to last night. Um, I logged in this morning, just loaded up just to look around, make some plans, and saw that we now have enough people, we now have a mayor. So our trader was elected mayor, um, which allows me to also finally set up the captain of the guard, which I talked about last time. So that's good. The um, mayor had some requirements, so checked on his his room, and he didn't have quite enough stuff in there. So we had to go and put in just a um, weapon rack armor stand. So I set up them to start putting weapon rack and armor stand in everyone's bedroom. I want to get to the point where, should they change who the mayor is, new guy gets elected, whatever, everyone has a full bedroom. Also had to throw him an extra chest in. We'll see if we get around to that. Um, putting in a display case here. Um, I was going to start putting some extra stuff in there if he didn't have enough value, but it looks like he is happy with his decent quarters for now. Um, and while I was doing that briefly, I also laid out what I want to make into a hatchery of sorts. So I'm going to have a large room that I can put all the nest boxes for all the birds except for some peacocks who sit in the peacock tower. And then I'm going to have two hatching rooms that I can lock the doors on to make more uh, peacocks or turkeys or whatever I decide I need to do. So just continue to expand out our food options. But we have a lot of food. We have a lot of food. We have 1,600 prepared meals. It's just too much. So e they're cooking everything they can. They're grinding up everything they can. So we're cooking too many meals. What I did is I jumped up to my farm. And it's not going to take effect yet, but I set all of these to be fallow in wintertime. So come winter, all of my farmers get the, the quarter off, so to speak. And we should still be fine. Plenty of food. We'll still have some gathering of the different plants that are just growing on the floor here. Still waiting for some trees to grow in here, hoping they grow up soon with just 2Z levels, but I never tried that before. So let's jump back here the humans were just arriving so they're going to be pulling in soon so our trade post is open we've got some extra traps set up so that's all good so let's see where what people are up to now all right greetings noble dwarf much to discuss so the humans will update our stuff put in place much to share. Bids fear well. Okay, so sadly we don't get to tell them what we're interested in buying. Oh, and setting up the captain of the guard, I set up a one Iron Justice. That's the name of our uh, guardsman group. So we have the captain, and he has one additional uh, warrior there. Equipment. So they still need to get some stuff. They now have both have crossbows. I guess we're missing some bone helms, which is surprising, but they probably just haven't picked it up yet. And everybody else is looking pretty good here. We have an opening on the copper slammers. Everyone else has what they need. So, wait for the traders to get in. And we'll send some food over there. I had asked ballista parts to be made. Those are probably made. Now here's something I've never done before, and I try to nest some siege weapons in with each other. Hmm. So maybe you can't do it. I don't. Maybe we'll just have the one ballista. I feel like there was a way to do it, and I just don't know how. The wiki shows being able to do it. Doesn't seem to be happy about that. Alright, I'll have to look up something else to do that. For now, we'll just have the one ballista, which I think I still have set to just firing at will. So engineers are randomly coming over here, and you'll watch, he's gonna load that sucker up and then shoot it. Okay, practicing that siege warfare. Shoots. 
yeah, not even a good shot. So got to be practice that. So something else I did is you'll notice I have my archery range here, and if you channel out behind the targets, right? This is open space. If the bolt hits the wall and it falls more than one Z, it just lands here unbroken. Now these are all now forbidden, but they don't hurt anyone when they land. So what we could do now is DBC claim. We can now claim all this stuff. And those bolts are now all good again. Of course we have more food issues. Driving me mad. Dump. Dump. Dump, 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 dump. People are returning their backpacks, and when they do, they're just dropping their food in here. So that's been an issue. We'll just auto dump that back into the pile over here. I don't like doing it, but I haven't figured out how to automate it better. All right, once everybody gets in. You don't want to close the door on them. It's bad news. Oh, I also took one of my dwellers and named them the Chief Medical Dwarf. Put Doc for his name. He has no knowledge of medicine whatsoever. So, don't get sick in this fortress if you're hoping to survive. That's the general rule here. I'm sure he'll do fine. How hard could it be? There's probably books in the library about it. Okay, do we have gotten... We're still waiting for a few more guardsmen. Let's get in. I don't want to actually close the door on them. Slow, though. Slow. See? These, these roasts here. I think they hang on to them. dump's kind of also a way of, if you get really cheaty, you can clear out a lot of block uh, that way, but I'm just using it to move these roasts they keep dropping everywhere, because that was my mistake. I never told everyone to grab food, and it's just spamming all these jobs. Alright, I think everybody's inside now. I don't see anyone coming down the hall. So, let's open up the trade port. smash anybody doing that. So, stuff I gotta get rid of here. Let's first get rid of some old clothes people have dropped. So, they'll give us money for those. We might as well get them out of the fort. And then... Prepared foods. Lots of prepared foods. Do I not have any roasts? They already put them somewhere. No, okay. So we'll just do prepared foods. We have a lot of it. So let's throw down eight and see what that gets us. Alright, let's go ten. We're just going to bring that over and then we'll get our trader down here. Busy. It's 
Surprisingly, a lot of that old clothes will actually get you some good money. First, you can take my junk. Just take all this stuff. Take it all. And I want to trade it for something good. Let's buy... What do I got? 1700 We'll buy the big stuff with the big money. Let's get some... Trade it for some bars. all his bars for all of our old clothes. Sounds fair to me. Done. Alright, now we can get to the real stuff. Let's see if you brought anything that I had hoped you'd bring. Some fire clay. Water skins, except for that $600 one. Thank you. Sure. You know what? We'll get some watermelon, too, while we're at it. Alright. Um, barrel. Let's get some different drinks that we haven't had. People like new drinks. Potato wine. Sweet potato wine. Sperm whale blood, I guess if it's a cold morning. with all this blood. They have all these blood items and they must be a trade item that they're working on loading in here or else my game made weird things. Alright, so that's 900. Why don't you take this to trade? Okay, good. Let's see what else have you got. Boxes of leather. We have plenty of leather. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Any sandbags? Yep. Let's get those. Have them have a lie? No. Okay, we have in cages we can kill and eat. One of those. Kill a mule. Get a hen. Kill a reindeer. Grizzly bear. Cool. Find use for him. We're gonna train him up. Put him out front. He can greet guests. Okay. So that's cool. Let's trade all of that for. And they're gonna say no to that. Let's do this. There you go. What else do we want to get from this guy? I want to get all the books. Continue to build out our library. These sheets can save me some effort too. There's no reason to buy that. Okay, these are codexes. It's gonna add up real fast. deal with that than you did, but that's fine. Now, I'll finally get some music instruments. 
because I've been low on those. And sometimes they require a lot of work to make. Let's buy all that. Looks good. Just roll on down and see what else we got here. shouldn't have any steel. I no, don't have any steel. We have this gold. Anything gold? No. I don't have any pink gold either. What have you got in here that's silver? Expensive. That's fine. Let's get two of these. Silver mall. That's interesting. Let's throw another barrel on there. We'll take that. I have access to all the iron I want, really. So it's pretty easy to make iron. And as soon as goblins start showing up, I should have plenty of it. But I don't have much... Oops. Stop saying... Ah, uh, Q. Not much bronze. Maybe that's what I need to do. Grab some bronze things. I can melt down. So let's just grab all this stuff. We'll just melt it all down. But if I throw that and that on the table, then she'll say yes. Okay, thought so. Last items. Last items. making so much food. There's really so little reason to buy it other than I guess it had some even more variety. We have tons of variety though. We don't have any silk. Do you have any thread? They do have thread. Let's grab those. Never know we're going to have a, a weird mood. A loincloth. That's asking for trouble. What else? That might be it. Might be it. Well, you know, let's do that. Crutches. Take all those. Splints. I'll get the bags, they'll cook it up. It's very expensive meals. I think that's everything. You know what? No. Throw in throw in the raw green glass. Or raw glass. I'll cut those up. That's all we got. Alright, everybody. A lot of hauling work. Get him kind of in here for 
for now. We'll figure it out from there. this real quick, take a look-see at Dwarf Fortress, connect, we've been shooting those, that siege engine, and uh, well, they're slowly learning, ever so slowly learning, not great, might need to make another training area for that. Why 
I was next to meet her dropping off food. Why is he dropping off food? Because he's told to carry food. But then it conflicts, and so it goes back and forth. So it's my labor union where all my miners and my um, lumberjacks who are doing this nonsense, okay? Do not carry food. Do not carry water. Yeah, so now they're going to bring it all back to their rooms. See, these guys... Yup, my excavator and engineer. The engineer's bringing food. No, he just helped putting stuff away. They keep grabbing food, putting their backpack, realize they shouldn't have it, put it in their room. That's what's going on. Marked for dumping under the cursor. Destroy item. Just destroy. There. Just throw them away. Bring another rose to your room. You're killing me, Smalls. Fine, it'll rot in your room. Then you'll throw it away. Somebody, that's fine. Bronze. Melt. 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 So, I 
to the bolt automatic emptying all the stuff out of the trade depot. Now that goes pretty fast. Everyone is very busy storing stuff, except for those who are practicing warfare. We still have any. We still have some of that to do. They're never going to get around to doing that. slowly. I'm sure the mason's working his butt off. Who owns these rooms? Yep, excavator. Excavator. That's what's wrong with roasts. Dropped off another one. You're killing me, kid. ready to go. We'll have to release them in a minute. The merchants are ready to leave. I have a relief valve right here. Pull the lever and let out the wagon. Nothing else left in here, right? Nope. Okay, so I can now see this. Be pretty good emptying out the trade depot this time. Did it within the period of time right before they left. So that's good. That's a win. People can get back to their primary jobs here. Okay. 
think I'm just going to make turn off any activity for the labor union. There's just too many problems with the food they keep picking up and dropping. Excellent, they finished digging out. Okay, so my plan here is two breeding rooms. Do I have any nest boxes? Yes. that other bird gets in there, we can lock the door. creatures that I want sitting in here laying eggs so we want can we say that's your female that's fine that'll help how do I see who's where can you name them I guess I could name them well we'll just put all the all the female peacocks in here for now oh I turned off female no one did Turn off the mouse. I just want peahens. I have three. Okay, that's fine. Let's do that. keep somebody up here until I get more. So here was one peacock who was named. You can sit up here. Yeah, you can sit up here. Keep an eye out for trouble. Here, the old nest box. Let's start getting some nest boxes in here. Hi, the code bug. Thanks for joining us today. Just doing a short stream here, probably gonna cut out in a few minutes, but glad you're able to join me. We're working on the Fort Earth and Ivy here. We're in our third. About three and a half years in. Let's go over to my dig channel. Oh, are they digging this out here? Yes. Good. Oh, 
Oh, I appreciate the attempt at the raid. I probably just don't have enough uh, enough clout anywhere. So I was only started a while ago. Right. Ooh, healer's in a fey mood. All right, let's follow him. Take over the craft workman shop. He's already grabbing stuff. He grabs wood. He grabs other wood. He grabs other wood. Going over, grabbing... Looks like an iron bar. Stone. What else he grabbing? A block. Another boulder. A bone. What is he grabbing? Well, whatever it is, we'll find out what he's making now. We'll find out. He's begun work on his mysterious construction. Alright, we are doing... We're doing well here. Doing well. Let me make sure they put that peacock back in our tower so you can see who's coming. Yep, one peacock in my peacock tower. Yeah, I know you can you can you can forbid materials to guide what he makes. Um, for the most part, I kind of let them make what they want, and then I oh, forgotten his training. That's what I get for uh, leaving these guys blocked behind doors, hoping to get some more. You guys trained, semi wild, trained, trained. All right, let's just unlock this here. Hopefully the, uh, I, I kind of let them make whatever they want to make. I know you can guide them. Every, every time they make a artifact, I put them in my library. So I generally don't try to make special weapons. I don't try to make special armor. I like to just kind of see what they had in mind, and then I throw it in a display case um, and kind of see what you get. And sometimes it's interesting, sometimes it's worthless junk, but everything goes on display behind a fortification, so they can't be stolen. And then that's why you see all these different slots all around here. I'll fill out the library, and then I have my main sitting room that I put all my nobles in. I gotta replace their tables, by the way. And then they'll have fancy items to look at. And then eventually I'll start making locked up display cases in the, uh, the dining hall. So I just kind of collect everything so the continuous history of the fort. What's he created? A couple of wood. Oh, that's a, um... Should be an instrument, right? Let's take a look-see. Kumquat wood. Two drug. All crafts are the highest quality. Decorated with dog leather. Bands of kumquat wood. Steel and... Do you took a steel bar? Eh. And dog bone. I mean, menaces of spikes, of spikes of wood. Gabbro and slate image of a dwarf okay yeah it's a silk stringed instrument very interesting so now we will as is our custom build a display case put it right there let's get that set up oh, good they're finally finishing this stupid temple it took forever I've had um, smooth stone on on a very low priority for a while and they just haven't gotten around to it on display I need Let's see if we can remember which one it is Kumquat wood doo -doo 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 -doo. there it is go put that on display for all to see in glory at here it comes Build, construction, fortification. Gavro block, locked in forever. All right, so we got through the trading. We have steel bars, we got a lot of stuff to melt though. I've got them on repeat making a set of leggings and some steel spikes to practice. And then every time they melt those down, we get a few more metal bars. So they're working on that, kind of more automatic. Trading depot is ready to go and secure. Ballista's ready to go. I think we've probably got another set of glass spikes. Yep. Just to make the fall interesting. Alright. Any one 
worth keeping? No, they'll study entertainment. Uh, I'll prove soldiering. That's fine. Take over residence over here. How am I doing on that, by the way? I have nine rooms taken of twelve. Okay. Seventy-five written items. We are out of writing stuff. We're probably writing faster than we can copy, or copying too fast. I have to speed that up a bit. Let's reclaim all these bolts. A dingo woman scholar visiting. That's interesting. I wonder how long they live. So did they retrain? Now this should be set for training. All right, man. I'm probably stepping out of here soon, but thank you for uh, thanks for stopping in. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, that gets trained soon by my guy. He's got nothing else to do. We need those nest boxes. Well, you know what? I'm going to steal this nest box. I need one in here. All right, all right, folks. With that, I think we're going to pause there. We've got our poultry room set up. Obviously, our dog breeding is going fine. We've got our temples now finally smooth, so we can make those individual chapels on the left and right. Library continues to grow with artifacts. Everyone's good in there. The uh, Bridge of Death is coming along nicely. We've got the ballistas set up. So we are... Uh, and finally, we got our magma forges here. Anyone who hasn't seen, by the way, we pull stuff all the way from the bottom and mine it or um, mine card it back up but we are uh, we're in good shape so we're gonna call that a day thank you all very much for joining me and I'll see you next time <laughs>